But I do want to thank the Bishop of Manchester very warmly, not only for the exemplary work that his mission has done, but also for his introduction this morning. What we were being told, of course, was precisely where we are in the process, and assurances were given of the fact that some of the questions, unresolved and still, to some extent, aching since July, were still capable of being addressed in the process that we're asking you this morning. So the question for me and for others, I think, here is, is the process of the revision committee going to provide an adequate space for the kind of discussion and refinement of proposals that some have asked for? I shall wait and listen to the debate. I'm inclined to think that we will do so, and I'm hopeful that it will give us that space, as it will also give us the space for what we should eat as well as, I think, very commendably, us to similar to undertake. What surprises me is not so much that we haven't yet agreed, but that we have moved so far towards something that just might command a common mind. Where the gaps remain, I think, will need to be teased out in this debate and in the months ahead. But I still feel, as I suggested in my presidential address, that the essential area of unclarity or unfinished business is around how much continuity and cohesion of oversight is provided for those unhappy with the organization of the suspicious. And therefore the question is whether something like um, clause 3 subsection 1 adequately addresses that. It's a question and one that takes quite a bit of sorting out. Of Yet we are not that far from something that can be heard. And what I suppose the process of the revision committee will make clear for us is whether that not very far is a narrow but very, very deep gulf, or whether it is a gap between, as it were, two hands stretching to meet and waiting for some sort of spark to fly between them that will create something fresh. You may perhaps recognize an allusion there to a rather famous picture. <laughs> So I hope you can pray that I should be able to not only to vote to remit this to the vision committee today, but to vote in support of a motion for the ordination of women as bishops in our church in due course. My hope and my prayer, as I said, is that I can do that with a sense of full-hearted gladness that this is good news for everyone, some of you in our church, because if it isn't, then, with due respect to those who have spoken already, I think there is something missing in our witness to one another as well as to the world.